Let's go through an example of how many rewards a user earns by using this equation. For this example, we'll say that Alice stakes 100 tokens for 3 seconds. And using this formula, we'll calculate how many rewards earned by Alice. On a graph, the y-axis represents the total state, and the x-axis represents time in seconds. Let's say that at 3 seconds, Alice stakes 100 tokens, and then at 6 seconds, she withdraws all of her tokens. So in total, she staked 100 tokens for the duration of 3 seconds. Let's calculate how many rewards Alice has earned in this 3 seconds. And we'll be using this equation to calculate how many rewards Alice has earned. At 3 seconds, Alice had 100 shares, so that would be 100. The total stake by all users is also 100. This will be just Alice. We times this by the reward rate per seconds, R, and that is the amount of rewards that Alice has earned from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. From 4 seconds to 5 seconds, the amount of tokens staked by Alice is also 100. The total staked by all users is just Alice, so this will be again be 100. And the reward rate will be still be R. So that will be the amount of rewards earned by Alice from 4 to 5 seconds. And lastly, from seconds 5 to 6, again the amount staked by Alice is still 100, and the total is also 100, so that will be 100 over 100 multiplied by R. We add all of these terms up, and this is equal to 3R. 100 over 100 times R is just simply R. Again, for the second term, 100 over 100 is 1. 1 times R is R. And the same for the last term. Adding 3 R's, we get 3 R. So 3 R is the amount of rewards that Alice gets for staking 100 token for 3 seconds. Let's look at another example. Alice stakes 100 tokens for 4 seconds, and Bob stakes 200 tokens for 5 seconds. Let's calculate how many rewards are earned by Alice. Here is the graph showing how much tokens were staked by each user and the duration they were staked for. At 3 seconds, Alice stakes 100 token. At 5 seconds, Bob stakes 200 tokens. And at 7 seconds, Alice withdraws the 100 token. And at 10 seconds, Bob withdraws his 200 tokens. Let's calculate how much rewards are earned by Alice. At 3 seconds, Alice had 100 tokens staked. So that would be 100. The total amount staked at 3 seconds is also 100. So that will be 100 over 100. We times this percentage by the reward rates per second, so that will be by times it by R. That's the amount of rewards earned by Alice for 1 second from seconds 3 to 4. At 4 seconds, the amount of rewards staked by Alice is also 100, and the total staked is also 100. Again, we multiply this by R. So between 4 seconds and 5 seconds, Alice has earned 100 over 100 times R amount of tokens. However, at 5 seconds, the amount of stake by Alice is still the same, 100. So that will be 100 over the total stake by all users. At 5 seconds, Bob stakes 200. 100 plus 200 is 300. So the total stake is 300. Times this by the reward rate per second, R. And that is the amount earned by Alice at 5 seconds. At 6 seconds, Alice still has 100 stake. The total stake by all users, Alice and Bob, are still 300. So we add another 100 over 300 multiplied by R. At 7 seconds, Alice withdraws, so she is no longer earning any rewards. So this is the total amount earned by Alice. Let's now simplify this. This is equal to 100 over 100 simplifies to 1. And the same goes for the second term. 100 over 300 simplifies to 1 over 3. So this will be 1 over 3. In the last term, 100 over 300 again simplifies to 1 over 3. Let's add all of these up. The first two terms will be r plus r. So that will be 2r plus, the last two terms are 1 over 3r plus 1 over 3r. So that will be two of those. So this will be 2 over 3r. Let's simplify this one more step. 2r is equal to 6 over 3r. 6 over 3R plus 2 over 3R is 8 over 3R. So the amount of rewards earned by Alice for staking 100 token from seconds 3 to 7 is 8 over 3R. Those are two examples of calculating the amount of rewards earned by a user using this equation. In the next video, we'll go over an example of calculating the amount of rewards earned by a user using this equation.